Okay, class, quick little video on your assignment that I want you to do. Okay, medical law and ethics assignment one. This is your group project that is due on Sunday. This is the one I want you guys to jump on Zoom and um, if you can with your group and make sure you get that finished up this week. I was going to give you guys time in class to complete that. This one I want you to do at home. I changed it to individual work at home. Go ahead and click on that assignment. And this is going to give you the competency for the week. So what you're doing here is you're going to be filling out a, like you're reporting illegal activity. And I'm going to share with you, for example, in chapter one, they have a scenario that I read the first week. And I wanted to share this scenario with you so you kind of understand. Um, a young woman, 19 years of age, who had just completed a credited medical assistant course found her first job with a specialist in the internal medicine. 75 to 100 individuals walked daily by her desk to meet with the physician. Approx approximately 25 were scheduled in her appointment manual. One afternoon the police came and she was arrested along with the physician. The physician was indicted on several counts of illegal narcotic distribution and she was indicted as a conspirator. Her salary stopped, the profession for which she had trained was no longer a potential source of employment, and she was faced with the reality of having to defend herself in the court of law. So it is your job as a medical practitioner to report illegal activity if you see it. For this example, 25 were on the books, 70 to 100 were coming through, and she just ignored it and never asked any questions or wondered why. And she may have been, like you say, ignorance is bliss. She may have not thought anything of it, but you need to. So here is what I want you to do. Um, you guys are going to report, choose one of the stories in this link right here. I want you to click on it, and at the bottom of it are some different... Um, common scams or crimes in healthcare fraud. Okay, a lot of them, like maybe they wrote illegal coding and they were getting paid for things that they shouldn't. Choose a story to use for this assignment, it doesn't matter which one, and allow and follow the steps for reporting illegal activity in healthcare. Well, the steps are going to be found on your procedure notes, which are right here. So you can download that and there's your competency. So if we download this, let's see if I can do this and you guys can see it. I don't know if my computer will open it because I'm an Apple user, not a Word doc user. Okay, so you guys can see you discover illegal activity in your medical office and you are working where you work. Document the nature of the activity and the person involved. Comply with the state, federal, and local health laws and regulations as they relate to healthcare setting. Okay, so according to a medical, man, the office manual, the procedure, proper procedure to report illegal activity is to form the quality, to inform the quality assurance department. So you're not going to actually call the QA department. You're just going to say on your progress report or your report, you're going to say notify the quality assurance department of this illegal activity and you're going to state what it is and then obtain and document the name of the person who you're speaking with. So you can just say name collected, you don't have to write a name, and ask and confirm that there will be no repercussions for the reporting. So basically you wanna make sure that you're not gonna be you know, fired for it or something like that. Um, and then you are going to describe the activity to the person. What I want you to do is I want you to write down in your notes, which is going to be located in this progress notes, you're going to describe what is happening. So write it out and describe that, um, what's happening. Um, and then um, document your phone call, write the date and the time that you notified them and from there, if no action is taken within a time period, you can follow up, but we're not going to go that far, okay? So that's basically what the assignment is. I want you to read through it. I want you to document and write down what you think is illegal and why you're reporting it. 
and who you um, say you're contacting the QA department. And then you can go ahead and submit that on this assignment. Okay, so that's the expectation for this assignment. I hope that makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to add another assignment, which I'm going to do here. We're going to go back to modules. Okay, so you are going to go right here to Chapter 5 Lecture Video Case Study. And when you click on it, there is going to be a lecture video over Chapter 5 that I want you to watch is about 15 minutes long and at the end of that video is a case study and on that case study I want you guys to read the case study and then answer the one quiz question that's on here it's a free answer and then hit submit there's no time frame on this however the one thing is that it is due tomorrow evening I want you to do it tomorrow that shows you were in class so it's covering our bases for you not to miss any class and then we don't have to make up tomorrow if you guys do this assignment. So um, I will send out an announcement about this um, and I'll put all this information on the announcement and hopefully that will keep you up to speed for module three. Um, and that's all I have. So you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week.